guys, you're watching Gregorio Girls Makeup. If you're new, my name's Shauna and I run this channel with my sister Devin. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a quick, easy, and affordable cream contouring routine. So if you would like to see how you can easily cream contour with some really great drugstore products, just keep on watching. All right, so my foundation is looking a little bit too dark and too yellow for me at this point, so just excuse that. And in this video, I'm actually gonna be using all drugstore and affordable products to do this um, cream contouring routine. And when I cream contour, I really like to start with my highlighting portion first. So that's when we use a concealer that's about two to three shades lighter than our natural skin tone. And today I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer to do my highlighting. This is a really great concealer if you haven't tried it already. And and I'm in the shade light 18. All right, so let's just quickly talk about what highlighting means. So when we highlight our face, that just means we are going to brighten up the portions of our face that the light naturally hits. So when you highlight your face, that means you're bringing those features forward. So I'm just gonna take my concealer and highlight the middle of my face, like I said, basically where the light naturally hits. So just as a quick tip, since I have a bit of a rounder face, um, I like to bring in my concealer down a long ways instead of swinging it out super wide horizontally. Horizontally. I don't want to create the illusion of my face looking wider. I want it to look slimmer So that's why I bring my concealer down more vertically as opposed to horizontally And on to my forehead all right, so this is about how your face should look after you highlight. So I'm gonna leave this on my face for just a minute. I'm not gonna blend it out yet just because I want you guys to be able to see where everything goes. So I'm gonna put my contour on now and I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. This is in the shade Oaks on You. So again, for your contouring products, you just wanna imagine again that there is a light source in front of you and you wanna apply those products to the places on your face where the shadow is naturally gonna hit. So right in the hollows of our cheeks, Again, use a little bit. I know I've used this product before in some of my videos, so just make sure you use a little bit at a time because they are very pigmented. And then on the sides of our forehead. And so we don't only contour just to mimic the natural shadows of our face. It also really does help to slim your face as well. So placing the contour in the hollows of your cheeks obviously gives the illusion of a slimmer face. And then I also like to bring my contour down the sides of my face. Again, because I have a rounder face shape, I do like to make sure I bring the contour contour down to this part of my face again just because that's going to slim my face so if you have a little bit more of a rounder face shape as well that's a little tip that you can try to just kind of slim you out a little bit more and the last thing that I'm going to contour is my nose so I just like to take my little contour stick and then just a little fluffy angled brush this is the Luxie 131 mini angled brush. I just like to bring this down the sides of my nose. Not everybody likes to nose contour. I do, because one, I like my nose to look a little bit slimmer. And two, I feel like it just makes sure that the middle of my face doesn't look so flat, so it still gives some dimension right in the center um, of my face. All right, so we kind of look a little crazy right now, but at this point, this is what your face should look like. So and next, we wanna start blending. So normally, I would do my concealer, blend that out first, then do my contour, and then blend that out. But I just wanted you guys to be able to see how the whole face should look contoured and highlighted. But my concealer is starting to dry, so I definitely wanna get this blended out. So I like to use two beauty sponges, one to blend out my highlight and one to blend out my contour. So I'm gonna first blend out my highlight if I still can if it hasn't fully dried down all right so you can see this is a lot brighter than I would normally wear it I think it's because I'm having a hard time blending it out because I left it on for so long so just know if you blend it out right away it's not gonna look this bright but I think because I left it on for so long so that I could do my contour it's just looking a little bit dry and cakey but again it won't look like that when you do it in your normal routine all right and then next I'm gonna use a separate beauty sponge to blend out my contour and I just use patting motions for this. Um, I don't want to swipe around again because they're cream products, so they're wet. So you don't really want to pick them up and swipe them all around your face because things could get muddy. So again, I kind of just like bounce the beauty sponge right on top of the contour. So I can get a nice blend. So 
But moving on to setting our makeup. So after you do your cream contour, you do just wanna set it in place again so that it doesn't slide all around and move throughout the day. So I'm just gonna use my Milani Make It Last setting powder and set my whole face. And that is it as far as the cream contour routine goes. So from this point, you would just kind of finish your makeup as you would on any other normal day if you use a powder contour. So I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. I hope it was really quick. You know, cream contour routines don't have to be some elaborate like 30 minute thing. And I also hope it was really helpful that I use really good affordable products so that you know you don't have to break the bank if you wanna have a really nice cream contour. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video and follow Devin and I on Instagram. I'm at Shauna Greggs and Devin is at DevDevGreggs and we will see you in our next video.